Today, Cabinet has approved the Online Safety and Media Regulation Bill. This set of new proposed laws marks a watershed moment as we move from self-regulation to an era of accountability by platforms for online safety, as well as a more joined up approach to audiovisual media regulation. One of the most important aspects of the bill is that it establishes a new powerful regulator to enforce accountability in the sector. A multi-person media commission will be established and will include an online safety commissioner. This will replace the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland and will be responsible for overseeing updated regulations for broadcasting and video on-demand services. The Media Commission will have a range of powers to ensure compliance, including the power to require the provision of information and to appoint authorised officers to conduct investigations. In the event of a failure to comply with the relevant online safety code and subject to court approval, the Media Commission will have the power to sanction non-compliant online services, including through financial sanctions of up to €20 million Euro or 10% of their turnover. I already received government approval to recruit the Online Safety Commissioner. The Media Commission will also have the power to issue content limitation notices to designated online services in respect of individual pieces of harmful content. Other important elements of this bill includes binding online safety codes to set out how regulated online services, including certain social media services, are expected to deal with harmful online content on their platforms, including criminal material, serious cyberbullying material and material promoting self-harm, suicide and eating disorders. The bill also sets out the role of the Media Commission in relation to the protection of children, research, education, media literacy, journalistic and creative supports. In carrying out these roles, the Commission will support an open, trusted and pluralistic media and online environment. There will be a 30% quota for European works in the catalogues of video on-demand services, as well as a potential content production levy to support the creation of European works. The Bill also puts the EU's Audiovisual Media Service Directive into Irish law.